three months almost just that was a few days and it will be three months that uh, you've resigned from your position you've been in the office for six solid years uh, it might have been refreshing having uh, stayed back home for three months and uh, what has happened since since my resignation from office i've used the time to consult with stakeholders in the party as to what are the requirements needed for us to win in 2024. I've consulted from the police station through to their supervisors who are the coordinators to the constituency executives to the regional and the national level. So these three months have been used very uh, judiciously in trying to understand the nature of the problems this, far, this party faces. And basically, I'm in this race as a result of what I observe to be things which are not well managing the party, which nearly cost us the 2020 election. The 2020 election, given the amount of work that was done in the first term of the Akufu administration, of which I played a major part, we think that the performance was very satisfactory to the extent that we're expecting that the results would have reflected the acknowledgement of the good work done by this government. Unfortunately, it was rather the reverse. We were expecting that the 1.5 million uh, majority that uh, President Kufado had over uh, President Mahama would have gone to maybe 2 million or more. That the 169 constituencies that we had in the parliament would have gone to 200 constituencies and more. But what did we see? What did we see as a result of the results? Now, Parliament is 137 and 137 NDC and PP. Our uh, majority was cut substantially. Um, it's just one difference between what is our majority and their minority. And that's a ironically by an independent candidate who used to be an MPP MP and was so disappointed with what was going on within the party that he decided to defend his seat as an independent candidate. And that is the, what is making the difference. Otherwise, now the parliament is split. Hmm. The Speaker of Parliament is now in the domain of the NDC. Uh, and the Right Honorable Mark Ben is now the Speaker from the NDC side. Um, he won a vote over the Right Honorable Michael Quay who had shown a lot of competence in the first term of the administration in Parliament. So we see that things are not going well. And the fact of the matter is that the campaign that we ran in 2020, um, you look at the NDC, you can't even remember one message that they, they gave. They didn't have a message. That would have attracted, you would say that that would attract Ghanaians to say, let's give them a chance. We didn't have a message. We had a lot of messages. What we had done in the first term, we we're going to continue. We we're adding on certain aspects of the program and so on and so forth. Unfortunately, um, it didn't impress uh, the electorate. It didn't impress the electorate because of what has happened in the party. There's too much conflict within this party. I mean, all over the place, when I went around, with President Kufuado campaigning you know, for the 2020 election. Everywhere you went, you heard about conflict within the DC against the, the uh, parliamentary mm -hmm. candidate, the parliamentary candidate against the chairman, and so on and so on. Just went on and on and on and on and on like that. And that really shook me to the extent that at the last minute, I was doubting whether we would actually have the victory in spite of the good performance. And lo and behold, the results show that uh, we have been very lucky to have escaped uh, in that respect. So, Honorable, 
you've come in, uh, you are joining the race because of all these things you've identified. I, yeah. What exactly are you going to do or are you doing uh, heading towards the flag bearer? I want to be, to bear the flag of this party, to give me the opportunity to bring about the necessary changes in this party to stand us in a good position to be able to win the 2024 December election. And uh, including, apart from these conflicts, a lot of our five people on the ground feel very denied. They are complaining everywhere you go. They are complaining about hunger, lack of education, uh, lack of uh, opportunity for employment, and all kinds of complaints. And that is not only in a, a specific region, across the country. And not o only in the, at, at the base, which is the police station executives, but all the way to the top. And, and, and people are so unhappy. And, and that is actually reflected in the constituency party people in particular. They, they feel totally denied. And that is something you have to take it from me. In my job, I don't sit in the office 12 months in a year. Every year I go out to all the 16 regions, except 2020 because of the COVID. And the message you hear constantly is one of complaint. Because when I go out there, I go to look at my portfolio, farmers, other stakeholders in agricultural uh, chain. But at the same time, I take the trouble after my work with these people to interact with party people to find out what is going on. And at first hand, you can see across the country complaints. Okay, so how do we satisfy our base in order to re-energize it? Because after six years, they feel very denied. And that is a, a very clear conclusion. Any objective observer going around the country talking to our party people who come to the same conclusion as I have. You've done so well for, for the Ministry of Agrarian. And uh, you have very good ideas. Uh, you can out, but there is uh, so a lot of obstacle ahead. Uh, I I know that the party uh, uh, rules. There will be a super congress, and they will then go for the selection of the candidate. How prepared are you as far as you? Oh, know? I'm very much prepared because I'm I'm going on my track record as the minister for food and agriculture. Mm. There are three point one million farmers in Ghana. I know this for a fact because in 2018, for the first time in 36 years, I organized an agricultural census. And the census was very clear that we had 3.1 million farmers in this country. The planting for food and jobs was able to reach 1.7 million of these farmers, more than, slightly more than half. And this is to do with subsidies heavy subsidies on seed and fertilizer as a strategy for us to improve the efficiency of the, of the smallholder agriculture in particular, because they still produce the bulk of our agricultural output and have been neglected all these years. So I decided that we're going to come in to introduce new technology of improved seed and application of fertilizer. So most of the money that we spent on the subsidy, five years from 2017, 20. 21, or something like 2.6 billion Ghana cities on the subsidy. If you take account of the amount of food produced by the application of these uh, uh, inputs, you will come to the conclusion that at the farm gate, the farmers were able to produce a total of 48.5 billion Ghana cities of produce. So, in terms of the rate of return on the capital of the, of the investment, it was very good. So, for every 2.6 cities that was put in, the farmers were able to produce 48.5 cities worth of produce. And that is very commendable. Okay, so what I'm saying is that the farmers, the beneficiaries, the 1.7 million, I really appreciate for what I do. And I, I remember the last time, 2022, when I went out for the first time, you could see everywhere I went, it was all to do with, it was like a time-given uh, tour, because everywhere I, I went, the farmers were uh, 
expressing their appreciation for the work that I've done to benefit them. Surely, that is that is that is uh, a very important aspect. But I think that before the farmers can step in to to give the testimony of what you have done for them, you have to deal with. Uh, a certain constituents of the party that will ensure that you are able to get to the level of the farmers. How are you able to meet with those people? Yeah, but the, the interesting thing is that mm, most of these farmers, especially the five northern region, yeah. most of these farmers are also delegates. Oh, okay. They are constituency uh, 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 executives. Almost all of them that I met, Havana, Upper East, Upper West, Northern Region, are, are actually farmers. And the same thing for polling station, everywhere you, you went, it was, and they, they were bearing witness to the fact that they benefited from uh, the planting for food and jobs. So it's a two, a double edged sword, you know? While agriculturally it was positive, politically it also uh, a recognition of my contribution to their. their so uh, you did very well at the Ministry of Agri, arguably, mm -hmm. but you are entering the race. What is your focus as a candidate that you use as a message to be able to convince people to vote for you? There is no argument about me doing well. You say arguably. Yeah. The evidence is staring you in the face, wherever mm. you go, mm. whether statistically or in any way you look at Planting for food and jobs, agriculture in the six years have been a runaway success. Yes. That is something that I can give you, we can sit here the whole day, I'll give you all the evidence to that effect. And, and also the witness, the witnessing of the beneficiaries across the country. If you look at my tra my track record mm. as a minister for six years, mm. you will come to the conclusion that I have succeeded with the portfolio, mm. and therefore a major portfolio, very difficult one. You are dealing with this, the biggest uh, 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 group of workers with poverty staring them in the face. If you are able to turn their fortunes around in the six years, it means that whatever you are given as a portfolio, you'll be able to deliver. So the competence and, 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 and hard work is reflected there. In addition to that, you also have other aspects uh, that you look at. I've been a member of parliament for two terms in quite a few, okay. in opposition. And I came into parliament in opposition on the front bench. I never sat at the back bench. Okay? And the work that I did in parliament is uh, on the record. You go through the answers, you see exactly the kind of work that I did on the floor of parliament, at committee level, and, and, and all of those things. So you, you find competence, basically. And not only that, you know, I, uh, MPP is my family. I was born into it because of the role my father played in the politics at the time. The seed that he sowed in 1954 is still making MPP, the Ashanti region, the backbone of this party. That this is the stronghold of the party. Nobody can dispute it. And the origin of that is the seed that my father sowed in September 19, 1954. Okay. So when it comes to the heritage, I'm there. There's no more. Nobody can claim to be more MPP than myself. Uh, you, you, are, I think you granted uh, interview to other networks, mm -hmm. and then one of the issues that came out is that it's like. You are relying on the, the 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 good name, the goodwill of your father to want to climb onto the seat. What do you tell? No, people? no, that's not true. This is why I'm saying that the emphasis is to do with my track record. Yes. I mean, I don't think there will be many people who will be able to stand on their track record to be proud of it, to defend it the way I have. And as I'm saying, the three point one million farmers are the ones who will bear witness to me. You just have to go to any farmer and ask them the impact that I have had on their lives as a Minister for Food and Agriculture. And they will confess to you, they will tell you. I mean, not only farmers, but traditional rulers who are in charge of leading uh, farmers around the country, the chiefs and so on, uh, of farming communities, who will, will tell you, like they tell me all the time. I mean, from the Dairi, the in the uh, 
uh, Bampo Silan to the king of Dagbon, uh, Yayana himself, uh, to two force and Tengene. Everybody accepts that I have made a positive impact on their subjects. Yes, yes, yes. And the subjects themselves will come confessing to you that, yes, this man has changed our, our lives. Mm. So for me, uh, that is a, 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 a good sign that in terms of ability, in terms of vision, in terms of delivery, I have done it. So that's the first thing. But I'm saying that in addition to that, I, uh, the, the, the party and my concern for this party also derives from the fact of my heritage. Mm. And not only that, two terms in Kwadasu wasn't handed over to me on a silver plate. I had to try three times. So I understand the politics of the grassroots. When the grassroots cough, I understand what is wrong with them. You know, so I'm in touch with the grassroots and, and therefore the grassroots, they are the base. They are the ones who deliver power to, to us. And therefore, if they are complaining about the fact that they are hungry, they've been they neglected, they don't have jobs and so on, it is for some of us to lead the charge, to take power, to correct those uh, uh, things in order to strengthen the party at the base for us to deliver uh, 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 on the 7th of December 2020.